This song's called uh, We Can't Go Home Again, and it's, um, it's about kind of having a conflicting sense of place. I wrote it um, in two parts. Uh, the first part of it I wrote at home in Nashville, and the second part I wrote sort of while I was on tour uh, in England and Ireland uh, a couple years ago uh, with uh, Mike from his Golden Messenger. Um, it was we were, the two of us were just traveling like by train kind of all over England, and then at the end of the trip, I told him uh, that I was going to go visit my girlfriend's parents who live in Tipperary. But my girlfriend uh, Sarah is Irish, and she was like, "Well, why don't you just go, you know, drop in and meet the folks? You know, you're going to be going to be flying out of Dublin." And um, and I was like, "Yeah, it sounds like a great idea." And then I, I kind of realized, like, as I was on the way. Like getting off, I took a train from the airport in Dublin down to Tipperary, and you know, I was like, "Wait a second, we've only been going out a couple months, and like they have no frame of reference for who I." I'm just like, well, my hair was, you know, not marine length or whatever it is right now. It was like tour cut, you know, long, you know, Canadian tuxedo, guitar, just I mean, whatever, like you know. And so her mom picked shows up at the train station, picks me up, and then I go back to their house, and they live in this like 300-year-old stone house um, in the in little of the countryside. I mean, it looked exactly like something out of Barry Lyndon, and and when I told Sarah that when I got home, she was like, oh, they filmed Barry Lyndon part of it in our neighbor's house. I was like, right, of course. They filmed a fucking Honda commercial at my neighbor's house, but you know, same diff. So, uh, so the first night we were there, her dad's a lawyer, also, of course, and so like we're sitting, like I, her 98-year-old grandmother had made me this really, really stiff gin and tonic that was like, she was just like a, a dash of tonic and like you know a glass of gin, and I was you know sitting there talking to her grandmother, and they come in, they bring the roast in, we all, all four of us eat dinner, it was like her parents, her grandmother. The first thing her dad asked me is, so William. How long have you been in this music racket? <laughs> and uh, I had to kind of like backpedal a little, and I don't know. Then we, we, I don't know. Somehow Don Williams diffused the whole thing. I've learned that if you ever want to diffuse a tense situation with future in-laws, just bring up Don Williams because everyone's parents all over the world like Don Williams. <laughs> so anyway, but um, the next day, uh, the, both of her parents had to go to work in the city, and. I was alone in the house, and um, I came up with the second part of this song. So, this is just, I guess, about sort of like leaving your home or having an imagined sense of a place that you've never been to or one that maybe you're never going to be able to return to. So, that's uh, it's kind of a tribute to both places.
Thank you.